Dear students, today we are going to talk about the causes of the decline of the Indus Valley Civilization. Let us begin with a brief introduction. The Harappan civilization lasted for only a thousand years. Archaeological evidence shows that many of the major cities of the Harappan civilization like Harappa, Mohenjo-daro and Dholavira faced abandonment and decline from the 3rd and early 2nd millennium BC. Many of the distinctive features of the Harappan civilization like writing, standardized seals and weights, some standardized aspects of town planning and other traits of material culture also disappeared. The decline of the civilization has been an enigma even today. Earlier, it appeared to be a sudden and total decline and abandonment. This was due to focus on the studies of town planning, large structures and goods of splendor. However, mounting new evidence since the 1960s compels us into thinking that the decline was not as sudden and dramatic as assumed earlier. The abandonment of major cities has been roughly dated around 1700 BC. References to Meluha in the Mesopotamian literature do not occur after 1900 BC. The chronology of the end of the Harappans still remains tentative. And regarding the terminology given by various scholars, there are various contrary views with regard to the terminology employed. Some scholars prefer the term late Harappan instead of post Harappan. Moreover, the archaeological evidence for occupation in the late Harappan or post urban Harappan varies regionally and distinctions are largely based on local ceramic types. The Julka terminology for the lower Indus is based on the excavations of a locally distinct culture. And when it comes to the pattern of decline, there is very little evidence of habitation at Mohenzo-daro between about 1900 BC and the Kushan period in the 1st century AD. At Harappa also, we find a major reduction and alteration in the settlement. The evidence from Cemetery H indicates continued settlement but without the characteristic material culture of the mature Harappan period. Archaeological evidence indicates abandonment or severe depopulation of many cities between the mature and late Harappan period. Many cities and other sites witnessed a decline in many aspects, particularly of urban township, civic standards, deterioration of public works and architecture. The distinctive Indus seals are no longer made. The evidence, though, of graffiti marks are continuously found in many sites to the east of Indus system. Such graffiti is found even at Iron Age megalithic pottery from central India. 
The mature Harappan style of architecture and material culture disappeared, indicating a decline in internal socio-cultural complexity and disurbanization. Disruption in economy and trade also occurred. Recent evidences indicated that the Harappan civilization did not suddenly disappear. By the end of the late Harappan, many cities were permanently abandoned and the basic character of the Harappan tradition in the form of its planned cities, systems of weights, technologically elaborated crafts, seals and script largely disappeared, having echoes only in myths and general cultural traits. It was truly lost and forgotten until archaeologists rediscovered it. We can list some of the major causes of the decline of this civilization. They are firstly foreign invasions, secondly environmental changes, thirdly disruption in trade and social instabilities. Let us now try to understand the causes in detail. Firstly, the foreign invasions. It was Wheeler who first tried to propound a theory for the decline of the prosperous Harappan civilization. He opined that the civilization was destroyed by Aryan invasions. He inferred this from interpretation of the circumstantial and historical evidence. For instance, Skeletons lying on the streets of Mohenjo-daro indicated that a massacre had taken place and he uses Rig Veda as a source of information for his theory. And when it comes to environmental changes, often hydrological calamities like flood, droughts, changing in river courses and sea levels have been cited as responsible factors for the collapse of this civilization. There has been records of flooding at Mohenjo-daro, Kalivagan and Dolavira as cited in the excavation reports. This was inferred from collapsed buildings and streets covered with silt clay intervening actual periods of occupation. Sift in river courses is also used to explain the decline of the prosperous civilization of the mature Harappan period. McKay and Lambrick argued that Mohenjo-daro was abandoned due to the sift in the course of the Indus River. Changes in the course of the Gagar Hakra River was a major factor in the decline of the Indus civilization. There is also direct archaeological evidence for at least one large earthquake at Dhola Vira in 2200 BC. Singh propounded a cultural climate hypothesis wherein he attributed the Florescene of the mature Harappan civilization to a period of higher rainfall during the 3rd millennium BC and its decline to increasing aridity on the basis of pollen sequences from three salt lakhs of Rajasthan. Disruptions in trade is considered to be one of the cause. The growth of trade and the expansion of the Indus settlement onto the Ganga river plain and Gujarat led to overextension of political and economic system of the Indus. There is a considerable evidence for the disruption of trade between the Harappans and other civilization by the end of the 3rd millennium BC. Production of many special items like inscribed and ornamental beads were reduced Indus materials are recovered from Mesopotamia and other sites of Arabian Peninsula only up to 1900 BC. Now let's uh, talk in detail about the last cause that is the social instabilities. Partial 
opined that the collapse of the Indus civilization was primarily a matter of ideology. This was induced by overextended socio-political networks and the rise of a new social order. He mentioned that there was a definite transformation of Harappan life with important changes in the socio-cultural system. We can list some of the major causes of the decline of this civilization. They are, firstly, foreign invasions, secondly, environmental changes, thirdly, disruption in trade and social instabilities. Let us now try to understand the causes in detail. Firstly, the foreign invasions. It was Wheeler who first tried to propound a theory for the decline of the prosperous Harappan civilization. He opined that the civilization was destroyed by Aryan invasions. He inferred this from interpretation of the circumstantial and historical evidence. For instance, Skeletons lying on the streets of Mohenjo-daro indicated that a massacre had taken place and he uses Rig Veda as a source of information for his theory. And when it comes to environmental changes, often hydrological calamities like flood, droughts, changing in river courses and sea levels have been cited as responsible factors for the collapse of this civilization. There has been records of flooding at Mohenjo-daro, Kalivagan and Dolavira as cited in the excavation reports. This was inferred from collapsed buildings and streets covered with silt clay intervening actual periods of occupation. Sift in river courses is also used to explain the decline of the prosperous civilization of the mature Harappan period. McKay and Lambrick argued that Mohenjo-daro was abundant due to the sift in the course of the Indus River. Changes in the course of the Gagar Hakra River was a major factor in the decline of the Indus civilization. There is also direct archaeological evidence for at least one large earthquake at Dhola Vira in 2200 BC. Singh propounded a cultural climate hypothesis wherein he attributed the Florescene of the mature Harappan civilization to a period of higher rainfall during the 3rd millennium BC and its decline to increasing aridity on the basis of pollen sequences from three salt lakhs of Rajasthan. Disruptions in trade is considered to be one of the cause. The growth of trade and the expansion of the Indus settlement onto the Ganga river plain and Gujarat led to overextension of political and economic system of the Indus. There is a considerable evidence for the disruption of trade between the Harappans and other civilization by the end of the 3rd millennium BC. Production of many special items like inscribed and ornamental beads were reduced Indus materials are recovered from Mesopotamia and other sites of Arabian Peninsula only up to 1900 BC. Now let's uh, talk in detail about the last cause that is the social instabilities. Porschel opined that the collapse of the Indus civilization was primarily a matter of ideology. This was induced by overextended socio-political networks and the rise of a new social order. He mentioned that there was a definite transformation of Harappan life with important changes in the socio-cultural system.
Going ahead, let us now talk about the continuity and survival of the Indus tradition. In the aftermath of the Harappan civilization, we find continuity and survival of the earlier tradition in the form of a large number of regional or local post-urban led Harappan cultures in the Harappan culture area and its margins. The urban character of the mature Harappan stage was no longer found but rural villages or peasant societies with local art and crafts continued to thrive towards the east of the Indus system. Such continuity can be clearly seen in many late Harappan sites. They are Upper Indus, that is, Symmetry Age or Late Harappan, Lower Indus, that is, Sindh or Late Harappan and Jukar style, Post Urban or Late Harappan, that is, Ghagar Hakra, Post Urban or Late Harappan, that is, Kutch, Gujarat and Sorat. First of all, let us discuss about the Upper Indus period. At Harappa, there is evidence for continuity from urban or mature Harappan to post-urban or late Harappan. Such evidence is found from Cemetery H. During the post-Harappan period, the number of settlements on the Indus reduced considerably to only four from 18 during Harappan period. Secondly, we'll talk about the Lower Indus period. Late Harappan settlements have been found at Amri, Chanhudaru, Mohenzo-daro, Jukar and many other sites. The post harappan settlements in Lower Indus are distinguished by a distinctive pottery style called the Jukar ware. The Jukar culture is characterized by haphazard or unplanned layout of settlements, profusion of bronze tools, round sills, barrel shaped beads, cubicle weights, etc. Thirdly, post urban or late Harappan. A total of 50 late Harappan sites were found at Cholistan. These are followed by PGW sites which are located more to the north of late Harappan settlements and the number of sites reduces to 14 with a total settled area of 36 hectares. During the late Harappan stage, the geographical focus of settlements shift to the east towards northwest India where 563 late Harappan sites have been recorded. Lastly, we'll discuss about the post-urban or late Harappan period. This region provides evidence for both decline and abandonment areas and continuity of settlements in other areas. However, even when continuity is indicated, the defining features of the Harappan civilization are nearly absent. borderland areas, Afghanistan and Baluchistan, that is Nausharo, Sibri and Pirak. In Afghanistan during the end of the mature Harappan or urban period, evidence from Shortugai indicates replacement by Bactria Marjiana archaeological complex. In the Kachai plains, Nosharo has preserved evidence in period 4, that is between 2200 to 200 BC, for pottery and female terracotta figurines, which was contemporary to the Harappan. At Sibri, we find a number of stone and bone tools, terracotta figurines, and Bactria Margiana archaeological complex. At Piruk, with evidence of occupation from 1700 to 700 BC, the assemblage recovered is foreign to the Indus system. 
The architecture is also different from those of the Harappan. Hundreds of stone tools have been found here. Borderland Areas Afghanistan and Baluchistan that is Nausharo, Sibri, and Piruk. In Afghanistan, during the end of the mature Harappan or urban period, evidence from Shortugai indicates replacement by Bactria Margiana archaeological complex. In the Kachai plains, Nausharo has preserved evidence in period 4, that is between 2200 to 200 BC, for pottery and female terracotta figurines which was contemporary to the Harappan. At Sibri, we find a number of stone and bone tools, terracotta figurines and Bactria Margiana archaeological complex. At Piruk, with evidence of occupation from 1700 to 700 BC, the assemblage recovered is foreign to the Indus system. The architecture is also different from those of the Harappan. Hundreds of stone tools have been found here. When we talk about the pattern of sift of this very civilization, a geographical pattern of abandonment of the Indus Valley with declining occupation in the West in favor of phenomenal rise in the number of settlements in northwestern India, including East Punjab, Haryana, Northern Rajasthan, and Gujarat in the Southwest, has been noted. These source that Though the theory of eclipse might hold true of Sindh and Baluchistan, there is strong evidence for continuity in the East and in Gujarat. After having a thorough discussion on the causes of the decline of this very civilization, we can conclude that the Indus Valley civilization, which was the largest Bronze Age civilization with concentration of settlements in Baluchistan, Indus Valley and Ghagar Hakra River Valley faced a decline in the late 3rd and early 2nd millennium BC. Its decline has been an enigma till date. Earlier, it appeared to be a sudden and total decline and abandonment. But new research shows that the downfall was not so sudden. A number of explanations have been put forward ranging from environmental causes like flood, drought, changing river courses and sea levels, tectonic shifts to Aryan invasions and disruptions in trade and social instabilities. To sum up, it may be said that both internal and external factors together contributed to its decline.